Hi, I'm Liz Hesketh from British Horse Feeds and today I'm at Richmond Equestrian Centre in North Yorkshire with the British Horse Feeds team and we're here today to talk about Fibre Beat. With me I've got Dr Tom Sherlock who is the British Horse Feeds equine nutritionist and Jodie McGregor, one of the British Horse Feeds sponsored riders. Jodie has in the past represented Great Britain in the Junior Eventing Championships and eventing is a real passion. So the British Horse Feeds philosophy on feeding is to firstly feed forage as the main fibre source, then top up with a digestible fibre feed such as fibre beet. If you still need more energy for adding condition or for performance, then top up further with a hard feed and finally, if necessary, feed a mineral vitamin supplement as well. So what is fibre beet? What's it made up of? Fibre beet is a carefully formulated combination of speedy beet, which is quick soaking beet pulp flakes, alfalfa and oat fibre. It's a great conditioning feed for horses and it's also a really useful forage replacer. And if grass is in short supply or forage is of poor quality, then fibre beet is a great feed to feed to your horses. It also has biotin added to it, and biotin is great for coat and hoof condition and is a good source of organic calcium. Fibre beet is low in starch and sugar and is a Laminitis Trust approved feed too. Fibre beet is really easy to prepare. You just take one part fibre beet by weight and add three parts of water. Now my scoop here contains a kilogram of fibre beets. You see it's not quite a full scoop. So if I take that one kilo of fibre beet and add three kilograms, which is three litres of water. And it's as simple as that. Just leave that now for 45 minutes to soak. So it's 45 minutes to soak in cold water if you want to speed up the soaking process, use warm water and that will take about 15 minutes. So this is fibre beet that has been soaked for 45 minutes and it's now ready to feed to your horse. Jodie is one of the British Horse Feed sponsored young riders. Um, Jodie, can you tell us a little bit about what you do competitively and a little bit about your horses in general? Yeah, um, I Tried to, I'm trying to make um, a career out of eventing now um, after sort of catching the bug a few years ago um, and I have a string of horses at home um, varying from just back to youngsters up to intermediate um, my best horse is spot on um, we went to the European Junior Championships for eventing last year in Poland where we finished 8th out of 82 starters um, so that was a personal best for us um, I have another young horse called Political Dancer, who this year I'll be aiming at the Young Rider Trials. Um, he is just seven, but I've had him since a four-year-old. He did his first intermediate last year, so we'll be hoping to contest in our first two-star at Houghton. Can you tell us why you think it's important to feed a well-balanced diet to your competition horses? Um, well, they're competing so often and they're in hard work all the time. So I find fibre beet especially useful for keeping the condition on um, and especially at the moment where there's not much grass, um, it's great. Um, we also get a lot of youngsters that come in quite poor so they benefit a lot from the fibre beet. We also benefit from the feed when we're travelling abroad because I've found with Spot On he's quite sort of sensitive to travelling so when he goes abroad he's not that enthusiastic to eat um, but he's, he always enjoys tucking into his fibre beet which is really important when he's um, 
at like things like the Europeans. We're here in Bishopdale at Jodie's Eventing Yard and we're going to talk to Dr Tom Sherlock a bit more about Fibre Beet. Tom, can you tell us um, why Fibre Beet is such a good fibre fee for horses? So the clue is really in the name. Fibre is not a single component. It's a number of different components mm. which uh, British horse feeds are put together in such a way that it optimises um, the fermentation patterns in the hindgut um, based on the prebiotic effect of speedy beet, the sugar beet pulp. And um, Tom, um, when would you choose to feed fibre beet over speedy beet? Mainly um, fibre beet is a long-term conditioner which we would use more as a grass or hay replacer. Speedy beet itself is quite a high energy product which we would recommend its use in reducing starchy feeds. But if um, you have a good forage base that fibre beet will either optimise that or it can partially replace some of it to improve the whole fibre intake. Tom, I know that fibre beet is designed to be fed wet, but can you feed small amounts of it dry to your horse as well? Yes, you can. Um, the reason it's fed wet is because we want to mimic as much as possible uh, the natural conditions. Um, horses graze on grass, which can be 80% moisture. The whole gut is, is designed to accept wet feed. Um, small amounts of dry are no problem at all, um, as long as the horse chews it well. In fact, one of the reasons we came out with lozenges is we believed is it was a good shape for them to actually pick up and therefore um, make it easy for them to eat. Ulcers can be a big problem for horses. Do you think fibre beet can help them? It can. Um, there's various components in the fibre beet, uh, such as the pectins, which help coat the uh, stomach wall, um, the fibre itself, which soaks in the acid, um, and another product called surfactants, which help make a soap, which again binds the acid. Um, all of those can help reduce uh, ulcers. In fact, most of those components are actually found in a lot of the common ulcer treatments you can buy across the ship counter. Tom, why is fabric good for laminitics? Um, because it is a low starch and low sugar feed. Um, and because the fibre profile has been chosen to be somewhat thick into grass, um, those two factors mean that the hind gut is not going to be disrupted either by an overload of sugar coming into it or by strange fermentation patterns of the fibre in it. One of the major instigators of laminitis is if you get too much lactic acid in the hind gut, which causes um, a chain of events which will end in laminitis. By using a product like fibre beet, the lactic acid production is kept to a bare minimum and therefore, hopefully, we avoid the problem. Tom, can fibre beet be used as a forage replacer if you've got poor quality hay or hay lidge or a shortage of grass? Yes, you can. Fibre beet is a forage replacer. Um, poor quality grass, a shortage of grass and also the fact that grass, its quality will vary throughout the year. Fibre beet, basically the fibre is put in so it matches a good quality grass. So if you add it to a diet, it will actually even out the whole dietary regime over the year. Mm. And Tom, how much can you feed a fibre beet on a daily basis? We recommend up to a kilogram per hundred kilograms of horse. Um, five kilograms for a 500 kilogram horse. That's the dry weight. Um, we mix it at one part per, by weight of fibre beet with three parts of water. And that's, if you do sums, gives you 20 kilograms of wet fibre beet. It sounds an awful lot, but when you bear in mind that a grazing horse could eat up to 50 kilograms, um, it's a reasonable amount. Tom, fibre beet contains speedy beet and alfalfa, sometimes known as lucerne. Why, does this, why is this really important for fibre beet and how does it make it extra special, if you like? Well, lucerne on its own is a good conditioning feed, but um, independent research at Edinburgh University has shown that a combination of beet pulp and lucerne actually improves the entire um, fermentability or digestion of, of the combination by up to 25%. Um, what we think is happening is that the, the prebiotic effect of the beet pulp is encouraging those bacteria which break down the fibre in lucerne. So you're getting an effect which is greater than the component parts.